Oh, that looks really heavy. I tell you what, I think you'd be lucky to get away without an injury there. It's to equal the world record. It's it's good. Well, Sven Carlson, not quite sure what he's saying in Norwegian there, but I'm guessing he's not very happy. Come on, Hugo Gerard, the former policeman. He's gambled on going full-time in strongman, and I tell you what, it's paid off. He's got a world record to his name. Like I always say, it's not over until the fat lady sings. And the first discipline in this opening competition is the Apollon's axle lift. Very much like a clean and jerk in the Olympic Games, but you can see the thickness of the bar there, and who better to test it than the man who's been silver medalist at the European Weightlifting Championships from Latvia, Raymond Spurgmanis. Now, this opening weight, only 150 kilos. He's clean and jerk, 245 at the Olympic Games, and you see how hard it just 150 kilos is really not more than 60% of what he can do in normal weightlifting competitions, yet the thickness, some two inches thick the bar, that's causing all the problems. Zadrunas Savikas from Lithuania, 150 kilos should be easy. Now he's using a slightly different technique here, this known as the European clean, where you rest it on your belly and then flick it up again. Good lift. Dr. Douglas Edmonds, as ever, the godfather of strongman in the background, in the black hat there, refereeing him alongside Jamie Reeves, world's strongest man. They are the head referees for the IFSA Super Series World Championship. Of course, the Super Series World Championship now head-to-head -head with the world's strongest man as the main title to be won in strongman. And this man, well, he's won a world's strongest man title in Malaysia, but he has yet to win a world championship belt that Hugo Gerard and Magnus Samuelsson have won. And I tell you what, in this kind of form, he's going to struggle. This, only 150 kilos, and how awkward he is making it. 35. So the world's strongest man from Malaysia of 2002, making very hard work of this. If he can just get it to his chest, you know those huge triceps will press it up. Come on, Marius. Time's running out. Oh, crushing down on his windpipe there. And that iron mine bar, two inches thick, causing all kinds of problems for the man they call the Dominator. Certainly not dominating this event. So 160 kilos goes on to the iron mine bar. And out comes Raymond Spurgmanis once again. I mean, let's look at the history of this man. Three times at the Olympic Games, he's carried the flag into the stadium of the Olympic Games at Barcelona for his country. And, well, what an incredible honor. You understand why in his home country and in his home city of Riga, he really is a superstar. Well, he's trying to do it like a normal Olympic lifting clean, and you see there, it just comes out of his grip. And his hands are like a bunch of bananas. They are absolutely enormous. Long fingers and hands, and even he can't get his hands around it. Now, Sven, watch this. He's invented his own technique. He does a kind of European clean, double movement. And look at that, easy for Sven. Easy enough. Now, remember, he is the world record holder in this event. He's done 170 kilos here in Hawaii last year, so he's got to be the favorite for the opening event. But Zadrunas Savic as well, he's, he's so big, he's got his own gravity. Look at the size of the man, 160 kilos in body weight. Has he got the pressing power? And remember, this is actually only body weight lifting. This is 160 kilos. Easily done. Those huge triceps pressing it out. And that brings out Hugo Girard. Now, Hugo Girard saw Sven Carlsen take away the log lift world record up to 185 kilos in Stockholm. He also saw the Apollon's axle go to 170 kilos. It must be painful for Hugo to see, but he's done 160. 
And the bar gets loaded to 165, and it has to be said, Hugo did lift that easier than anyone. And Hugo so often talked about as the best presser, but let's face it, Sven Carlsen's the man with the world records, and here he is at 165. Can he get it? Opening man at 165. It's a good lift. Excellent by the Viking. This is good. Sven Carlsen, you seem very strong. Uh, I'm very worried about my back, but I don't feel any pain yet, so I feel very strong at least. So. As, good. as the first event of 2003 Super Series in Hawaii, uh, are you technically thinking how you will uh, disposition your six events today? Uh, I will try to do my best and coming from a back injury yesterday, I just have to work it event by event and see what happens. 165 kilos, 363 pounds, so the bar finally heavier than the man lifting it himself. What a giant of a man. Zadrunas Zaviskas from near Vilnius in Lithuania, former IPF silver medalist in powerlifting. Squat, his main discipline there, really was one of the best in squat the world has ever seen. But he's got it to his chest. Can he press it out to join Sven Carlsen? The feet are aligned. Yes, he gets the white flag from Dr. Edmonds. Great lifting there big Lithuanian. Now Hugo Gerard, pressure is on. Several times I've seen him in competition, such as in Malaysia, when no one else was really around him. He was so much better than the others, but now he's under pressure. What can he produce when he's up against it? Well, there you go. There's your answer. Hugo Gerard, I'd say that was the easiest. He's a little out of breath. As you would imagine, it's, it's very hard work crushing down on your windpipe. But 170, it's going to be very tough. And the first man out, Zadrunas Zaviskas. Sven Carlsen has passed it this way. That is the big news. Sven's gambling on 175. So it's just Zaviskas and Gerard at 170. It's to equal the world record. It's, it's good. We, oh, so the world record, the leaderboard has been joined alongside Sven Carlsen with Zadrunas Zaviskas. Congratulations to him. For these guys, sure, they're professional. It's a lot about the money, but I tell you what, it's more about putting your name down in history. And Gerard, how about we got three men? Oh, this is really heating up, and don't forget, Sven Carlsen has gambled. He's gone for 175. This is a world record. 385 pounds. Sven, the lightest of the three men left in the competition, about 143 kilos in body weight. Oh, that looks really heavy. I tell you what, I think he'd be lucky to get away without an injury there. Well, how badly has he hurt himself? Has he just winded? Has he torn some pectoral muscle? Well, he's, he's full of adrenaline. It's very hard to say at this point. I guess we'll find out after the event, but I'd be shocked if he can get it up now. No, no, it's not going to happen today. But Sven, he's such an incredible competitor. This is how you get to the top in your sport. It's the never give up attitude. Come on, Sven Carlsen. This is why he's been world's strongest man. This is why he wants that world championship belt. Well, Sven Carlsen, not quite sure what he's saying in Norwegian there, but I'm guessing he's not very happy. And that brings out 175 kilos for the world record, Zadrunas Zaviskas of Lithuania. So he's just seen his name go alongside Sven Carlsen in the record books. This to take the out and out record for himself in one of the most historical events in Strongman. 
Almost missed it first attempt. Can he get his legs into it? You hear the crowd shouting, use your legs. But no, no, he knows when he's beaten. He knows when he's beaten, and that leaves Hugo Girard as the only man left in the competition. His 170 attempt looked very comfortable. This will be interesting. This will be more than interesting. This will be sensational if he takes it. It'll be Hugo's first overhead world record, and I tell you what, not a minute too late either. Come on, Hugo Girard, the former policeman. He's gambled on going full-time in strongman, and I tell you what, it's paid off. He's got a world record to his name. Apollon's Axel is all Hugo Girard's 175 kilo. A new world record, Hugo Girard. You know, I wasn't expecting it to do that, but like I always say, it's not over until the fat lady sing, and it's really far from being over. Well, that was something else. What a display, mind over matter. This event has been going on since the 19th century with Louis Sear, the great Canadian, and Apollon, all lifting these Apollon's axles. And Hugo Girard, he's taken that world record back to Canada. You start this year with a world record in Apollon axle. Did you expect that? Uh, not really, to tell you the truth. You know, at 150, actually at 140, I had a hard time, my shoulder, I heard some kind of weird noise there, and I seriously thought about uh, leaving that event. And then I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna keep going one more, one more lift, and then one more lift, and finally I end up winning the event. It's totally unexpected. How much did you surpass your best result uh, from before? Uh, for me, with that kind of bar, it's the first time ever, so it's not bad, you know, first time with that, uh, that bar, world record. You know, I can't ask for more.